let's implement the following expression. Anytime you are going to implement very long expressions like this, you have to always start from the inner parentheses, which are inside of the brackets. So I have brackets over here, and I have brackets over here. I have to start from these parentheses first. Okay, let me start with the first part of the expression. So, inside of these parentheses, I have end gate. A is ended with C0. That's why I'm going to, to draw end gate with input A and with the inverter C. Next gate is also end and this time I have C, C and I have D not. Now what you're supposed to uh, realize that anytime I have C over here and C over here, there is always physical connection in the uh, real electronic circuit. But in order to do not mess up the picture, I'm going to keep this separate. But you have to realize that this C is always connected with this C. Now, these two gates, these two gates are north together, okay? So I have to draw the north gate. Why? Because I have bar over the parentheses, okay, over OR. So that's why this is NOR. Okay, so I finished with these parentheses. Now, my this expression is NOR with A. Why is NOR? Because I have bar over OR, okay, and I have A over here. So that's why I'm going to I'm going to make my A over here. Okay, and this is not with A. Again, the same story. Anytime I have A and A, they're supposed to be connected together. And as I said before, I do, do not want to mess up the picture. I want to make sure that picture is going to be very clear. That's why I do not connect them. But you have to keep in mind that they are always connected. So, I finished with the very first part of the expression. Now I'm going to go to the second part. I'm going to start from these parentheses. What is this? This is D naught with F. So that's why I'm going to draw the NOR gate. With two inputs. D, F. This NOR gate is NANDED with C. Why is NANDED with C? Because I have bar over this multiplication. This is NAND. I have bar over multiplication. NAND. So I'm supposed to make sure that I'm going to connect C together by NAND gate with my NOR gate. Okay? So I finished with these parentheses. Next I'm going to go to these parentheses. What do I have? I have D naught. So I have D naught, that's why I have inverter. So this is my D. And I have end gate. End gate. which has two inputs, has C input and has A with inverter. Okay, and these two expressions are joined together by the NOR gate. 
That's why I'm going to connect these two gates to the NOR gate. To the NOR gate. Okay? Now, these parentheses and these parentheses are ORed together. That's why I'm going to connect them together by the OR gate. Okay? So I finished with the first brackets, I finished with the second brackets. Now I have to combine these two circuits together. Now these two circuits are combined by exclusive NOR because this is the exclusive OR sign and because I have bar over the whole expression that's why this is um, exclusive NOR. That's why I'm going to connect these two outputs to one exclusive NOR gate. And this is, I can say, my circuit. Let's prove that whatever I drew on the board is correct. I'm going to prove it by find, finding the output function of this circuit. Now, I have C going to the inverter. This is going to be my C node. A, C naught, going to the end gate is going to give me A, C naught. If I have D, this is going to be my D naught. So output of this gate is going to be C, D naught. Now, these two terms are going to be naught over here, right? So I'm going to draw the R over here and I'm going to have function A C node north with C D node. North with C D node. Okay? A C node is north with C D node. Now A is going to go to this gate, to another NOR gate. So it's going to be my A. So if I want to find the output at this gate is going to be A north with A C not not with C D not not. And I can write the brackets over here because I finished with the very first part of the equation. As you can see, this is exactly the same what we had at the beginning. Now, let's check what will happen over here. I have D naught with F. That's why I'm going to have over here D naught with F. This is C. Now, this is NAND gate. So I'm supposed to say this input is going to be NANDed with C. That's why I have D or NOR with F and I have NANDed with C. Okay? Now I can put this inside of the parentheses. Next one I have D naught and I have C this is going to be A naught that's why I have C A naught over here and at the output of this gate I'm going to have D naught naught with C A naught naught again I can write this inside of the parentheses. As you can see, this part of the expression is exactly the same like this one. Now these two terms 
supposed to be odd together. So that's why I'm going to have again parentheses, parentheses, I have D or F, I'm supposed to say not with F and NAND with C. And everything is OR with this, which is D not OR C and A not. And I have bar over everything. Okay, so I'm supposed to say D not NOT with C and A not. Okay, and I'm going to write the brackets over here. As you can see, this is the second part of our expression. It's identical. If you want to find the output function of it, simply you have to exclusive nor this expression with this one. That's why I'm going to have, let me start writing somewhere over here, and I'm going to have A, or I have to simply copy this down. A, C not, or I'm supposed to say nor with C, D not, close the bracket, exclusively not with whatever is inside of these brackets. So I'm going to have open parenthesis, open parenthesis, D, nor with F, bar, and I have C, bar, close parenthesis, or with D not, not with C A not close parenthesis close bracket and the bar over here and because I have exclusive nor I'm going to have bar over the whole expression as you can see we got exactly the same expression like we had at the beginning it means that my circuit is correct 